So I will request now Bakuri to uh, speak because she is in a field which is mostly challenging and she has handled some of the very challenging talks, economic offenses, special grants. You know the special grants is uh, you know, very important of within Assam Police and also the district, uh, and the district affairs, law and order. So I request Bakuri to share her thoughts on this thing, how she handled those challenges and what were the options and opportunities of those taking those decisions on field. A very good afternoon to everyone and thanks for inviting me here. This is my second time in Kaitanesh uh, University. Um, last time also, uh, I was um, not here discussing uh, cyber crime as a police officer and now uh, I'm here uh, to discuss a totally different uh, new subject. Uh, my perspective on the entire subject is totally different because uh, I belong to a service where as soon as you join the service, you have to lead uh, your, you know, um, your male, male counterparts. Whether you like it or you don't like it, but you have to lead them. Uh, so our uh, you know, definition of leadership is different here. And in corporate world, it is totally different, it is performance based or uh, whatever uh, you know, uh, uh, other factors are there. So, uh, coming to my profession, uh, uh, we are actually, uh, you know, in Assam, I have seen uh, when, whenever I go to places and whenever I deliver lectures like this, I find uh, girls. Uh, you know, they are interested to join the service, but they are not, you know, uh, they are not getting the right kind of practice. So, I take this opportunity to, you know, uh, argue all that this is a very premier service and, you know, once you join the service, you get that, uh, you know, um, um, chance to lead a team. Uh, so, this is a very challenging job and for girls, for women, this is this seems to be quite challenging but if you are mentally prepared, one, uh, you know, one has to be very prepared uh, to join the service because uh, from, it is, it is 24 to 7 job, you have no choice. But you have to prioritize things. I will not go into the conflicts or the challenges as such, but I will just talk about the privileges that we have. Uh, see, uh, joining the service, uh, uh, Madam uh, has said about the support system and all. Yes, when you are a working uh, mother, working uh, uh, wife, you need a support system. But then you have to create the system yourself and you know, in this service, uh, you are privileged to have a support system uh, once you join it. Because there are the, uh, the police service or the defense services offer you that kind of uh, facilities. So, uh, challenges can be handled. And it is about your priorities. I always think that way. Because once you know how to prioritize your life, you can sort out many things. It is not always about you know thinking about what to do and what are the challenges uh, going to come, how I can, I'll, I'll overcome them. But rather, if you think I have to do it, and you find a reason, despite the challenges, you might have ten reasons for not doing it, but you just find one reason for doing it and you can accomplish your job. So, I will not uh, uh, no, go into details of this, uh, but I would also like to say that this is a diverse field. From economic offenses to cyber crime, before, before uh, uh, going to the brother, I was with the cyber division, I was heading the cyber drone project of Assam Police. And this is a purely technical uh, job. So you get you know, a lot of exposure. Then handling the law and order situation. 
which is, I know, for me personally, I, uh, I, I, I really like to deal with the law and situations because they, you come face to face with the public and there you need a lot of communication skill and a lot of empathy at that time. So, uh, this is, you know, this, this job gives you a lot of exposure. And how women will lead in the, you know, whether you are in corporate, whether you are in teach, teaching job, whether you are in service, police service, whether you are in defense service, or in other thing, it, what I believe, it entirely depends on the person himself. I never, we had, we had, we had talked that way that when you were in, in, uh, entering into the police training college, we are never tra uh, you know, treated as women or men. We are treated as police officers. So, you don't learn to differentiate. We were not given a job because I am a man, I am a woman or I am a man. Not based on that. But it is based on your efficiency. I have a lot of experiences where my senior, you know, I belong to a sample service cadre and I, I can proudly say that I uh, have been given, uh, you know, some responsibilities from Indian police service officers, male counterparts, on the ba basis of efficiency. So I take that pride. I was leading a team of 60 odd guys in my earlier project, which was a technical thing, as I said. So that way you get the opportunity to lead and you know uh, and to uh, play a different role. And as women, we have that in us actually. We are multitaskers. We have that empathy. We can communicate, and I think we can be very good leaders. And I think I urge every one of you, because you are the next generation, uh, please come forward. Not only, you know, uh, you have to break the glass ceiling. Not only uh, the chosen professions or the, you know, where um, you, you remain in the comfort zone. But just come out and, you know, learn to take challenges. That's all I have to say. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me.